Hey guys, what's up? So I have like a fancy new setup now. Um, I have like this tripod and I have a ring light and I have a microphone and it's just like so new to me. I don't really know what to do just yet. I kind of feel like I'm being blinded right now. But um, my husband got this stuff for me and we're super excited to, you know, record more videos, especially diabetic videos, so we can help other people that is, you know, new to diabetes or just has questions on diabetes and how to manage their diabetes. But today I really wanted to talk about how do I tell people I'm diabetic. So if you guys have been with me pretty much since the beginning, I was diagnosed the year I was married actually in 2017. I found out in January and it was like a huge shock to me. I never expected me to have diabetes. My mom had diabetes, but I was like, I'm skinny. And a lot of people that are type ones has nothing to do with their weight. In fact, if you're a type one, has nothing to do with your eating habits either. So I thought, well, you know, that's doesn't make sense. And when I got my sugar taken, it was like 425-ish, I believe. So they were super shocked. I had to stay at the doctor's office for a long time. And when I was diagnosed, I was in high school. No, I wasn't. I lied. <laughs> when I was diagnosed, I was in college, uh, getting out of college. I was graduating. And to hear something is wrong with you in college and you're that young, especially that you're going to have it for the rest of your life because there's no cure, is just a lot to take in and you're very embarrassed by it. Uh, at least I was at my age. Um, to now, I'm not embarrassed by it. I wear my Dexcom very proud on my arm, my pump. You can usually see I have Omnipod and I wear it usually on my stomach, sometimes on my thigh. And some people will ask me about it. I've had several times in restaurants before I was even on the pump where people would be like, so what are you injecting yourself with? Like, it's so awkward. Why would you even ask that? Like, what do you think we're injecting ourselves with? It's insulin. And it's very uncomfortable. You have to do insulin when you're doing injections. Like you either go into the bathroom or say you're coming home from church or work and you're having to dress nice. You can't just, you know, if you have like on a dress, you would have to go to the bathroom and that didn't feel very sanitary because you couldn't just raise up your dress in the middle of public and, you know, give yourself insulin. So when I was that age, I was very uncomfortable and embarrassed about being a diabetic. I am now 25, going on 26 in the next couple of months, which is insane to even think about. And I'm not embarrassed by it now. I kind of see it as my story in life. And I think it takes with age and just understanding like how your story can fit into life. Um, I am a Christian. I've mentioned that several times. So I just feel like it's part of my story. Do I feel like God gave me diabetes? Absolutely not but it is part of my story. So I don't mind telling people I'm diabetic now. And there were several times whenever I was first diagnosed, I was like, oh my gosh, like my sugar's low. What am I gonna do? I'm not at my, my house or I don't have a snack. What if I pass out? I mean, that's always kind of been a fear of mine. What if I pass out in public? But um, I do every video guys, I don't know if you can hear it, but my dogs are barking. Um, but it's always been a fear of mine that what if I pass out? Um, but now if my sugar gets high and I just start randomly running in place and people are around me, I don't necessarily care. I mean, yeah, it looks weird. I've had before where I went to Sam's and I started seeing my sugar go high because I do have Dexcom, so I watched it on my phone. And I just started like kind of jumping up and down and the guy was like, wow, you really have to go to the bathroom, don't you? And I was like, I'm diabetic. <laughs> so there's been several times that it's very uncomfortable to mention that you're diabetic. But if you are brand new to being a diabetic, um, this is how I approach it. People are like, oh, what's on your arm? And that gives me a chance to tell them my story or have you ever checked your sugar before? Okay, that's what diabetes basically is. It's your sugar is never really stable. I mean, they're, I'm very well controlled. So most of the time my sugars are very stable, but there are times where my sugar is like a roller coaster and you get to tell there are some nights you don't sleep very well because your sugar is up and down. Or there's times in life when you just feel so exhausted because, I mean, you're a diabetic. Uh, it happens. Or there's times with like COVID that we had to be extra, extra careful. We still have to be careful uh, with COVID because, you know, our bodies can't fight off stuff as well as other people's. And that's one of the things you really just have to tell people is that, yes, you're diabetic. Uh, yes, your sugars can be high and low. But at the same time, I don't care if people know that I'm diabetic now. In fact, I really won't say I embrace it essentially, but I definitely tell people that it's okay. And you know, this is how, where I came from and this is where I'm at now. 
when I was diabetic, while I was first diagnosed as being a diabetic, my A1C was almost at a 10. It's currently at a 5.1 or a 5, I can't really remember. Uh, so I've come a long way. That is half, literally half of where I was at. And that's why I tell people. And that's why I'm doing the, doing these YouTube channels for you guys to show you that you can get through it. If you're first, like if you are just found out you're diabetic and you're just now finding this channel, or you're just finding this video, this is what I'm telling you. You're gonna make it. It's gonna be okay. And if you have any questions on how to get your sugar down, I've had multiple videos of how I get my sugars down or if my sugars are low, how I, you know, fix them. In fact, I just looked at my phone and my phone's already saying I'm at 70. <laughs> so I'm gonna wrap this up pretty quickly. But just tell people, hey, my sugar's low, I need to get a snack. Or hey, I'm type one diabetic. And if they don't know what that means, explain it. It had nothing to do with your eating habits. Even people will, they will say, well, you eat really bad. Well, that has nothing to do with it. <laughs> or they'll say, well, um, you're always thirsty. That's a, a sign of being diabetic. Like, you will get a lot of people that will give negative comments, but whenever you're first diagnosed or as you grow into being a diabetic, realize that their negative comments should have no effect on you. Like, you're gonna be okay. And just because it is a lifelong illness, doesn't mean the illness has to have you. And that's one of the things I really had to realize whenever you're first diagnosed, because it's such a hard pill to swallow saying, okay, I'm diabetic, I live with this forever, especially type one. Um, you're gonna live with it forever, but it's definitely encouraging to know other people have gone through it and other people have made it on the other side with their A1Cs being perfect or, A1, or other people have made it knowing that uh, it's gonna be okay and they're well controlled. I'm very well controlled, but yes, I do have my bad days. I have my nights where me and my husband don't sleep very good because my Dexcom's continuously going off. I've had days where I splurge on meals and let me tell you, it's okay. So if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. I just wanted to pop on here and tell you it's okay to tell people you're diabetic. In fact, tell people you're diabetic just in case like for some reason your sugar gets wild, but if the people that you tell are very negative, like you shouldn't eat that or you're diabetic because that's a piece of cake and you're not supposed to be eating that, maybe consider not letting those people in your lives or just tell them it has no effect and like that can be proven from like a doctor. Um, so just watch the people that you're around. Um, it could really influence and uh, influence negativity if they keep, you know, mentioning that's not what you should eat, that's not what you should eat, that's not what you should eat. Instead of finding the people that's like encouraging you, even if you eat a piece of cake or get a pumpkin spice latte, I've already had mine for this year, um, get a pumpkin spice latte with your friends. Um, it's okay being diabetic and splurging, I promise. So if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. If you like this video where we kind of just do set down talks of you know how you become a diabetic or how to move forward or just encouraging videos, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. Bye guys.